Good morning. It's Leanne Peters here. Oh, it's cold. I'm from templeofbalance.com.au, Temple of Balance on Facebook and Temple of Balance on YouTube. And I am here to offer you some support, some healing time, um, and especially in preparation for the 11-11 uh, healing event that we're doing on the 11th of November or whatever you might be doing uh, for that period if you're inspired to or you might not be doing anything and maybe you're inspired to be here and join me in this five days of preparation clearing things out getting ourselves prepared and aligned and ready for the 12-hour healing event on November 11. It is freezing out here. I didn't realise how cold it was. Oh, this is our weather for you. We have beautiful hot one day and freezing the next, but that's okay. It's early here. It's a little twilightish. The sun hasn't come up yet. It is, uh, what day is it? It's Sunday, Sunday the 7th of November. And the time is currently 5.30 on the dot, 5.30 a.m. I've been up for a few hours and uh, getting some things organised and feeling good. So I thought I'd come down and connect with you before I go into a meditation for an hour or two and probably a nap. Um, so yesterday was day one of uh, five days of preparation for 11.11 and the 12 hour healing event. Yesterday we talked a lot about um, um, lifting up, lightening our load and really getting our mind focused and determined with what we need to shift or what we need to lighten in our life or in our body. For me, I he held the intention to have a fairly physically active day um, and to exercise, stretch my body and really think about the uh, moving the energy that I'd have stored in my body. Not that I felt like I was storing a lot, but I was feeling quite stiff these last few days and hadn't really had time to do my daily Tai Chi. So I was up at 3 a.m. this morning doing Tai Chi. <laughs> uh, so I've, I've done my round for today and maybe I might fit another round in later. But um, that's kind of where I'm at right now or in the lead up to now. Um, before I go any further, I want to send out an extra special welcome to my Temple of Balance patrons, my Pillar of Light family, and all of those of you who support my work through my website. Thank you so much. I also want to send out a special uh, welcome to those of you joining me for the 1111 healing event. It's a 12-hour healing marathon, and yeah, it is 12 hours, and we shift so much stuff in 12 hours. It's quite unbelievable. So if you are inspired to join in with that, please have a look on my website where you can register. So this morning, so this is day two for me, I'm feeling very drawn into this depth energy, which is another reason why I wanted to stop in here uh, early this morning before the sun comes up and before it warms up, obviously. Um, because I, I want to connect in with that depth energy. I feel a deep sense of understanding today and acceptance of how things are and that uh, this reassurance that things are on track for me personally. So I sit here and what I'm going to be doing for the next 10 or 15 minutes or so is uh, I'll be pulling a healing energy card for all of us. Uh, then I'm going to move into the drum so we'll do some gentle early morning drumming or late day drumming or whatever the time may be for you. Uh, and then I'll pull a card to go. So hopefully you'll enjoy the time we spend together. And I see the cat's making an appearance here in the background. She's having a good old scratch. So take a nice big breath. I trust that you've been let here for a reason. And I trust that something shared supports you at this time and um, brings you something that you need. So I'm looking for the best healing energy card for the energy now and uh, for the majority of us at this time. So the best healing energy card for now is this. Good morning. It is here. Oh, okay. So this is a new card, card 88. And uh, it's in the rise category. 
and it says the clean up the clean up so down here it says prepare to rebuild your life clean purge sort out clear the clutter grief sadness loss make room for new things physical labor and commitment so this is a really deep deep purging is what i'm feeling from this card right now this deep purging on a lot of different levels for us and maybe i know that for me i've been feeling this deep purging in my body and i feel that as we connect here today that we're being encouraged to really take this inner clean out this outer clean out in our life this purging to a new level so if you've been preparing things if you've been clearing things out how can you take it deeper today or in these moments that we spend together how can you drop deeper into your desire your willingness your urge to clear and prepare yourself preparing to rebuild your life or we could we could say preparing to um, take part of our life to the next level to even build parts of our life new to open new doors start new things have new experiences so for some of us it may be a rebuilding where we're re-establishing something that um, we may have already experienced before but I feel in many cases this is a, a, a building of things that want to come in in a brand new way so what are you building what are you preparing for at this time in your life and what do you need to clear out of the way so that you can potentially bring this about or bring this to be so this brings physical labor it talks about hard work effort as well and commitment that is also required so the cleanup is the name of that card let's play the drum for a little bit so we've got the horse drum today the horse drum is on the website if it speaks to you um, please have a look but the horse to me uh, is about movement so I feel like we want to really drop in deeply into ourselves during this connection today and move energy so maybe yesterday you joined me in moving our body and getting some things that have been stored and bottled up getting that moving and out if you missed the video you can find it in the uh, replay uh, video library tab thing. <laughs> um, but I feel like we're taking that movement now to a new level. So what can we really clear out and purge out during the time we spend with the drum? So I'm going to be drumming. There's nothing you can do wrong. Just listen, take some big deep breaths and perhaps hold the intention of, you know, what are you clearing? What are you preparing for? What are you building in your life? And how can you get into alignment with that on a deeper level? Or how can you move that energy on a deeper level? So, enjoy. Nice big breaths. Let's feel the drum moving deeply into our body and into our life for clearing and purging, to get things out of the way so that we can align ourselves with where we're going.
take some nice big breaths. Really think about slowing your breathing down. And as you breathe out, really force out all of that old stuff you've been holding on to. All the stuff that requires clearing and purging within your body, within your relationships, within your life. Give yourself permission to get things moving, get things clearing. Clearing is movement. It's moving the energy out. So sometimes we need to purge and move the energy out so we can clear our space in ourselves, in our life, for the new things that we're preparing to build and we're, we're creating. So preparing for the new, we need to clear out the old. So nice big breaths as I finish up now. What I'm really drawn to in this drum, first of all, were these little half circles, which for the first time felt like little crescent moons. There's a few of them that I put in this uh, painting, and I only saw them as circles before. So they look like crescent moons, which reminds us about the phases, the cycles that we'll go through in our life. And sometimes we go through cycles on a daily basis. Sometimes we go through larger arcing cycles. So whatever it is that you might be feeling stuck with, maybe ask yourself, is this a cycle? Is this a phase that you're going through? You know, we're not always going to feel motivated 24-7. So, you know, for the whole month or for months on end, it's just not really how things work. So I, for me, I like to work with my motivating, when I feel motivated, I like to work with those energies and times because I know that, in a couple of days or sometime, I'm going to need to, my body's going to want to slow down a bit to rest or to ground or what have you. So I feel like trusting in the cycles and the phases and being at peace with those feels to be important to talk about here. And the other thing I'm really drawn to as I was finishing up the drum were these little highlights of yellow through here. And yellow to me is about um, personal power, confidence and courage, strength, inner strength to keep going, inner strength to purge and clear out the things that have become a bit um, cluttered or a bit too uh, consuming or complicated or the old stuff that we just don't need to sort of carry about anymore. Having the courage and the strength to face that energy or face that stuff to be able to clear it away through that physical action of clearing, of purging. So... Yeah, the horse drum is on the website. If it speaks to you, please check it out. So, if you just joined in, I was playing the drum with this card in mind, which is card 88, the clean up. It's actually really exciting having a deck of cards because this is obviously Healing Energy cards number two, which are numbered from 56 to 110. It's actually really exciting having high number cards like this. I mean, card 88... How many decks have card 88 in them? So it's really cool. So that's card 88, the cleanup. So thank you. I am going to pull a card to go in just a minute. But before I do, I want to thank you so much for joining me today. If you have enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up button. Please show us some love. Please comment or share if you're inspired to. And if you would love to connect more privately, please send us a message through our website. I encourage you, if you would love to connect deeper with your healing at this time, please consider joining me for my 12-hour healing event because we shift so much stuff during these 12-hour events. They are quite phenomenal what they shift and what they align us with. So 12 hours of healing on the 11th of November. You can join on the day. Um, it might even, may even be the 10th for you, your time compared to the 11th, my time. But I'll be doing it for 12 hours straight on the 11th of November. You can follow along with me. Um, what will be happening is I'll be running about two hours ahead, 
um, of you so that I can get the videos recorded and get them up onto YouTube. So high definition videos on YouTube playlist as I'm working through whatever comes up. I don't know yet. I have a theme plan of rising up. So it's going to be quite uplifting, I'm sure. So if you would love to join us for that, which is in four days' time, please uh, visit templeofbalance.com.au and you can follow the prompt there right at the home page to learn more or to register. So let's grab now a healing energy card to go. These are really super important in any of my support videos, in my opinion. But I feel that they're a little bit extra important now because I'm in a five-day support um, preparation process <laughs> uh, with you. So this is day two of five. So I'll, I was in yesterday. I will be back in tomorrow uh, for a similar thing. And I'll be doing the guidance video. So two videos tomorrow. But this card now to go, this is to how can we embody this energy? How can we take this purging uh, such strong purging energy. How can we take this and work with it in our life for the next 24 hours, roughly? Um, so this will be, you know, something to focus on potentially. So the best card to uh, move on from here for the next 24 hours, carrying this energy through into our life. Uh, the best card for that is this here. Brrr, it's freezing. Ah, we have this. Ah, card 64, acceleration. Oh, yes, this feels exciting. So again, this is highlighting movement. There's so much moving energy since yesterday and today. So the last 24 hours to now and the next 24 hours to come by the look of it. This is in the action category. So it brings movement as well. So the action energy. And down here it says, the green light turns on. Go, action, movement, change, productivity, a door opens, synchronistic events, everything is lining up, trust in the flow. So, I mean, this is a great card. It really highlights what I have already been talking about, but it very much emphasizes that energy of the green light turning on now, that things are accelerating, things are going. And this is a really important thing to consider especially if you've been feeling stuck or stagnant lately because as I said before as we purge as we intentionally and consciously clear and purge it may involve clearing parts of our house it might clear, be clearing out a wardrobe or a cupboard that has long been accumulating dust and junk um, it may be going for a brisk walk or doing some purging in our own body maybe cutting out some certain foods for a couple of days and replacing with some lemon water or some fruit or something, whatever sort of speaks to us personally. But it feels like this purging energy is going to be a really great support, especially for those of you who have been feeling stuck and stagnant because the energy of movement that's come before now and the energy of movement and action that is here now is quite phenomenal. So the green light is on. Now it's up to us, it's up to us as individuals to make that commitment, to follow through, to stop procrastinating and holding ourselves back mentally or with our thoughts or our worries or our stresses. And I talked about this yesterday. To get our mind on track, get focused, get committed and uh, follow through with whatever it is we need to do. We may not know what the results are going to be or why we feel that we need to do this certain thing, but I think we can trust in the unfolding and trust in the bigger picture that's playing out here. So I would encourage you, and I'm going to do myself, I'm going to make sure today is about clearing, cleaning and purging. So yesterday it was about movement in my body and today I want to use the movement in my body because I need to, I can't just think about, well, I can just think about purging, but the best way I can support my purging is to move with it, is to actually physically purge. So I'm going to, I'm going to commit to, um, I've got nice fresh lemons off my lemon tree. So I'm going to, I'm going to have lots of lemon water today with a bit of apple cider vinegar in it. 
that works for me my body responds well to it it may for you it may not that's okay you may have a different thing to go to and please trust what your body needs so for me I'm going to amp up my lemon and apple cider vinegar water today and I'm going to look at the things that I can clear and purge so it may be a clean up it may be a clear up of some cluttered areas or a removal of rubbish or um, these types of things I'm going to be really looking for today to help get that energy moving and to get on board with that purging and that clearing energy that wants to move through today. Um, so that's my next 24 hours. I encourage you to do the same or there may be something more important for you to focus on. Um, and I will be back in roughly 24 hours, but probably not, maybe a little longer than 24 hours. But moving forward now, let's really think about what we can step up with. What can we accelerate? What can we move on that we've been um, thinking about or been stuck with? So thanks so much for joining me. I trust you have enjoyed this connection and take care of yourself. Enjoy the rest of your day. And I will see you tomorrow, which is Monday, my time, for day three of our preparation. Hopefully you can join me on 11.11 if you're inspired to. Um, and tomorrow will also be our weekly guidance. So thank you so much. Sending you loads of love from my heart to yours. Namaste.